Sports Friday with Ray and Adam on The Big Breakfast and joined by the coach of the Perth Wildcats, Rob Beveridge. How are you, Rob? Oh, I'm really good, thanks, mate. Good to be here. Now, Rob, you're probably sick of people talking about it, and I'm not sure if you can say anything about the on-court drama last weekend. Uh, just describe it in your own words. What are your thoughts about it? I, I was uh, very disappointed the way that the Gold Coast celebrated, uh, yeah, particularly Goulding and Harvey. You know, they came out and did this silly dance and a celebration and uh, you know, Stevie Way who, who was right there in the middle of it all uh, he took offence to it and pretty much gave him a shove and, and then it was on it was on and I was just uh, you know I, I don't condone fighting at all but I think that it was a good sign that Stevie uh, was sticking up for uh, himself uh, our team and probably more so the Perth uh, crowd as well because they, they really gave it to the crowd uh, so from that perspective you know, I was very pleased for them but uh, we, we probably could have handled it in a better way than uh, having it all in. Do you think the uh, fine for both teams of $1,500 was appropriate? Oh, yeah, yeah. Something. So we don't condone fighting at all, and uh, yeah, we, we we've probably should have ha- handled it better and uh, probably deserve to be fined that, yeah. Maybe this weekend uh, you can win and you can do the victory dance. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're definitely not going to do that. You know, I'm, I'm trying to teach... Uh, our players to uh, yeah, be very humble in, when they win and gracious when they, they're defeated. So, you, you know, I'll be disappointed if uh, our players uh, react to anything but in a positive way, win or lose. Now, on the website, uh, a story about this weekend's game against the Crocs. You're going back to basics. What does that mean? Well, I think we've just got probably ahead of ourselves. That We, we got bogged down the last week. Uh, we went, OK, well, how are we going to beat the Gold Coast uh, you know, with what, what type of offence and what type of defence. And, and this, what what my strength is, uh, is to teach the players how to play the game of basketball and uh, teach them the fundamentals. So it's pretty much, OK, let's take a step back and let's get back to the the, the extra hard work that we, we have to do and don't get too caught up in uh, all the offences we run, all the defence we run. And every player has got to get better. So that's why you know, we said, OK, let's get back to basics and... Uh, get back to creating a great work environment, great work ethic for the players. Now, the uh, top few teams on the ladder at the moment, sort of fairly uh, even Stevens. Uh, does that sort of put a bit more pressure on to sort of uh, just get that bit further ahead? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, we, we always knew it was going to be that way, and uh, we're in a fortunate position where we had five home games in a row, which uh, actually put us in the position of leading the league. And... and uh, yeah, to, to me, it's just a case. It just shows how how great the league is, how how close it is that that any of the eight teams can win, and and uh, it's going to be a, a bottleneck all the way through. And uh, obviously, I think we were disappointed that we lost the game up on the Gold Coast. I think uh, that was a game we probably should have put away, but didn't, and uh, that could have given us good buffer. But all it means is we got to go back and work harder at practice and uh, come out and just. Uh, give it our best crack to, on uh, Saturday night. Playing the Crocs, uh, like you said, this Saturday night at the Jungle. Ticketmaster.com.au for tickets. Wildcats.com.au for the entire fixture and all the latest Wildcats news. Before we go, Rob, the player profile for this week, Kevin Lich. What can you tell us about him? Kevin Lich. Uh, he's 22-year-old kid out of St. Louis University. And uh, he's... Out of a lot of the Americans that I've ever coached, uh, he's just simply a class act. Uh, he's just a, a great kid on and off the court. Uh, all the players just love him. Great personality on the court. He's one of the hardest working players I've coached. Uh, yeah, he's an all-round player. Uh, he, I guess if anything, he's probably the most unselfish player I've, I've coached, and we're trying to get him to be a little bit more selfish and look to be more of a scorer and a creator and things like that. But, uh, uh, yeah, he, it's just a pleasure to have him in the team. He's a great guy. And he was also voted the best recruit by the fans on wildcats.com.au. So good to hear good news about him. You know, he's an absolutely uh, favourite you know, with, with our team and, and obviously you know, the, the crowd's getting behind him as well, which is great. Rob, thanks uh, for talking to us, mate. No worries at all, guys.